Master the art of indirect requests in English. Hello, English learners. Today, we'll dive deep into the realm of politeness. Ever wondered how to ask for something without being too direct? It's an art many English speakers use, and today we're going to learn about asking indirectly. This is not only a language skill but a cultural nuance too. Let's get started. Indirect requesting is a polite way to ask for something without stating it explicitly. In many English-speaking cultures, being too direct might come off as impolite or demanding. By asking indirectly, you soften the request, making it easier for the other person to agree or decline without feeling pressured. Example, direct, give me the salt. Indirect, could you pass the salt? Or, is the salt near you? Using indirect requests showcases empathy and awareness of the other person's feelings or position. It shows respect, which can 1. Make the other person more willing to help 2. Foster better relationships and understanding 3. Allow for a smoother conversation without awkwardness There are many ways to frame an indirect request. Let's learn some common structures. 1. Would you mind? 2. Would you mind opening the window? 3. Could you possibly? 4. Could you possibly help me with this? 5. I was wondering if 6. I was wondering if you had a moment to talk. 7. Do you think you could? 8. Do you think you could lend me that book? Remember, the tone of voice plays a significant role. Even an indirect request can sound direct if spoken in a stern tone. Just as there's an art to asking, there's also an art to responding. Here are some ways. 1. Affirmative responses. 2. Of course. 3. Sure thing. 4. Absolutely. Happy to help. 5. Negative, but polite, responses. 6. I'm sorry, I can't right now. 7. I wish I could, but. 8. Unfortunately, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. And there you have it. Asking indirectly is more than just a linguistic technique. It's a reflection of cultural values and norms in English-speaking societies. By mastering this, you'll not only sound more natural but also navigate social situations with grace. We hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing, and we'll see you in the next one.